Quick unboxing on a new scope. This is nothing new that you guys haven't seen before other than the color itself. So this is a primary arms one to six gen three with the ACSS reticle, of course, in wolf gray. So they've been coming out with some new colors for these recently or in the past year or so. I think the first one they did was, uh, I wanna say it was like a flat dark earth. Uh, it's like your brown, everything's the same. I did a, I'm pretty sure I did an unboxing on this in once, but I haven't seen this color in person and I wanted to unbox it here and show you. So if you guys are interested, I'll put a link down below for this guy. You can get um, free shipping on this if you use the link in the description and a free mount as well. So those are, um, that's an affiliate link that helps us out, kind of helps us keep the channel going. Um, so uh, check the description out if you want to, again, free shipping and a free mount. And you can get a discounted upgrade mount if you want. I usually use the ADM stuff like the, um, this is a different optic of course, but that's a TA44 with an ADM quick release mount on my Daniel Defense Mark 18 upper. So um, we got, I got a good idea for this thing. So we've shot this before. I've said it before, they're, for, an AC, for a BDC reticle, they are boringly accurate on a AR-15. So I've done some um, mixing around, having some fun. I uploaded a video recently shooting the one and a half power TA-44 Trigicon ACOG with the um, CQB M5 ACSS reticle. This is the, the mini ACOG, if you will, 10.3 um, inch barrel. Did a little uh, video on this, shooting it from 100 to 500 yards. And I did a little bit of a creative zero to get everything to match up. And the 400 and 500 yard dots were dead on. And it was awesome. So I was shooting XM855 ammunition in that one. So check that video out. Put like an annotation or a link for that blow or something at the end of this video. But anyway, uh, wanted to unbox that, show it to you and roll this guy in here. So this is a rifle, uh, well, a legally air pistol, I'll call it, that you guys have seen before. Uh, so nothing new. Uh, kind of swapped some parts around, done some stuff. This is an 11.3 inch barrel. So it's an inch longer than the Mark, uh, Mark 18 I just showed you. And it has the Wilson Combat uh, SBR barrel. I believe it's um, 416 uh, R stainless steel. It's a pretty heavy profile. In fact, my only gripe, I've mentioned this before, is that it's a it's kind of top heavy because that barrel. They design it to be used with a to be used with a suppressor. So it has um, actually 308 threads, so 5 8 by 24 instead of 1 half by 28. So it makes muzzle devices a little bit interesting, but the barrel shoots shoots really really well. And for that reason, um, one of my viewers kind of tipped me off to a kind of a, nah, maybe not a newer trend, but kind of a trend of um, what they called uh, a mini SPR, I believe. So an SPR being a special purpose rifle, the whole goal there is obviously it has a special purpose, but in most cases that special purpose is precision, like the um, kind of the Mark 12 rifles. Um, and I have that little 16 inch, what I call an SPR as well. So I'm gonna take this thing and I'm going to, throw it on 11.3 and see uh, see how well we can do with something like this. So I'm not sure what ammo I'm gonna use yet. Uh, like I said, the we, we shot the 10.3 out to 500 yards by doing a little bit of a creative zero, it's like a 30 yard zero. So I know because the math on that is the same as the math in this, I know that we could do the same thing and pretty much beyond, even though there's a little bit of a variance in the barrel. Like I know that we could do that with XM855 ammunition. My question is, um, if I were to use a different ammo, say like 77 grain, like an open to match round, which I have a bunch of that ammo, I generally shoot that pretty much only through my 16 inch precision build. I'm wondering if we can get past 500 yards and still be accurate with this reticle. Well, you know, say up to maybe six or seven. I don't, we're definitely not gonna hit eight, I don't think, regardless of what ammo we're shooting. But I'm thinking, I wonder if how accurate we can get up to five and 600 with uh, maybe like some 77 grain. So anyway, um, Long story short, I'll put build lists for both of these down below. This is that Law Tactical Folder, um, KEK pistol brace, or it's more of a, a blade, but uh, again, not a stock, so it's technically still a pistol. You got the newer EOTech EXPS3 Flat Dark Earth on there for the time being. Uh, a couple forward controls items like their Ford Assist and their their mag release battle arms, enhanced takedown pin sets. I really like these. I'll talk more about these later, but. I have a hard time throwing anything other than these pin sets on my lower receivers after I've had a chance to use them. So uh, Mega Arms billet sets, 
Wilson Comet 10.4 inch trim rail with the 11.3 inch SBR barrel. And I'm gonna throw a light on here. I haven't done it yet. Gotta pick up uh, another body and another tape switch. This is that cloud defensive light control system in I believe what they call Bazooka Green. So neat color, stands out, kind of mixes things up a little bit. And again, this is gonna hold a Surefire ST07 uh, tape switch or pressure pad, whatever you wanna call it. And then we'll get a light mounted up over here. So I think what we're gonna do is we're probably gonna do a couple things. We're going to suppress it, number one, get that light mounted up, kick it out front so it's towards the end of the suppressor as far as we can get it and still maintain some of that uh, usable light. And then again, throw this guy in here and just have a blast. So I've noted this before, I'll say it again. There were some questions in one of the our, our previous videos. Yes, these are a second focal plane reticle, meaning the reticle stays the same size regardless of what power range you're on, whether it's one power all the way up to six power, the reticle is gonna stay the same size. So that's pretty traditional. Uh, that's the traditional scope, I should say. So with that said, in order for the BDC to be accurate, you have to be on max power. So whether you have the one to eight or the one to six, you'd have to be on max power, six power or eight power. In this case, it's six power. Now that doesn't mean you can't dial down and still use the, the center chevron or the center crosshair. Um, that's good at every range. So you could, well, every range that you'd normally be able to hit a target at. So usually between zero and 300 yards is where that chevron comes into play. And um, you could dial down to zero, you know, one power, uh, you know, and still hit targets out to about 300 yards you know, using the, the radical itself. But when you want to start using holds, like your, your four or five, six, seven, eight holds, you got to be on maximum power for those to be accurate and, and true. So anyway, color looks good. I like it. It's kind of, kind of matches um, the color on this air pistol. This is um, Controlled Chaos Arms in Iowa here did this. And he uses, uh, it's, it's a proprietary color. He mixes it himself. He calls it CCA Mud. CCA standing for controlled chaos arms. So it's kind of like um it's kind of a I would say a gray mixed with kind of like a dark or a light brown maybe. So it's kinda of, you kinda of see up there, it's kind of the true color back here. It kind of blends in with the the brown or the sand that was used and kind of makes it look almost gray. So I think I can pull this guy off right now. Set that aside. Again, I'll put I'll put links to all this stuff down below. I always get questions on that stuff. I think with this guy mounted up here, not only is it gonna work well, hopefully, fingers crossed, it should, uh, it's gonna look cool next to this gray on the air pistol, so. Anyway, long story short, I've been rambling too long. If you guys have questions, let me know. Check back later. Uh, got a lot more in, in, in store, a lot more planned. Uh, really just gotta make the time and get out and shoot the videos, and I got a lot of catching up to do. So my, my kind of goal this year was to not start a whole lot of new products, really. And I've been pretty good at that. I've, I think I've kind of just wrapped up everything that I was doing at the end of the year and haven't started any new gun products. So I'm just kind of trying to wrap up what I had started to begin with. So, all right, talk to you guys later.